What's good, yo? We back with another video. And looks like we got more bad news coming out of RPT. Bando got hit with an attempted murder charge in relation to the death of a structure member that goes by Rilla Structure. And this is a very confusing situation just because the article that I'm about to read didn't give much information or much details about the case at all. But I'm going to break it down and keep it as simple as possible and explain to the best of my ability. First off, we got Bando. If you don't know, the indictment for the RPT came down, I think, at the end of May. I think it was like May 25th. But at that time, Bando and Tita were both in Florida at the time. They were not locked up. When they came down and swooped up RPT and grabbed everybody up, Bando and Tita were not in New York at the time. They ended up coming home, shooting a whole bunch of music videos, and then turning themselves in about two weeks later. But in that two weeks that Bando and T-Dot had to turn themselves in, they're alleging that Bando was present at the time Rilla Structure ended up passing away and charged him with attempted murder. And if you don't know who Rilla Structure is, he's the Structure member that passed away during the summer on June 6th. Rest in peace, Rilla. Initially, everybody was screaming the back door was wide open, this, that, because if you don't know, RPT, people like Bando and T-Dot were super close with people like Kai Structure, Leaky G, Bando, people from Structure, their blocks were linked up. But there wasn't much details given out and people just started assuming back doors, but I don't think that is the case. And I have seen a couple Structure members on the Instagram say this was cap as well. But let's get into the article. It says, four charged with murder and shooting outside Queen's recording studio. Four men are accused of fatally shooting a 21-year-old man in the head in front of a Queens recording studio over the summer. Two other people in Bando were arrested Tuesday and charged with the murder of Rilla's structure on June 6th, according to the NYPD. Authorities found Rilla with a gunshot wound to the head outside the entrance to the recording studio at around 1.25. AM. He was pronounced dead at the scene. On June 25th, a fourth suspect was arrested in the case. Now we're going to get into nitty gritty, me trying to paint the picture of what is really going on. Now we're going to take a look at his inmate lookup page. I'm not going to blur his name out because it's public information. Y'all seen with conspiracy charge and the indictment, his name even had his, his rap name Bando on it. But yeah, we took a look at this. They said he was arrested June 9th. Like I said, two weeks after the indictment came down. And if you were paying attention, they said Rilla died the 6th of June. So they're saying a couple days before he turned himself in, Bando was in Queens around Rilla structure at the time he was murdered. I'm just making an educated guess. I don't think he was shooting at Rilla structure. I think he could have been with them. That's why he was probably at the studio. Bando was trying to hurry up and record some stuff before he went in. But moving on, you see the conspiracy charge. And that's from the RPT indictment from months and months back. But then you see at the bottom, you see Queen Supreme Court. That confirms basically that he did get hit with an attempted murder charge for the real structure all the way out in Queens. Just in case you need more confirmation of Bando being charged with this incident, it says the day of the incident that Bando is charged with. It says June 6, 2022, the day really passed. And then this is where all of his charges get broke down for this particular case. And you see loaded firearm, a whole bunch of loaded firearm charges, which is crazy. Reckless endangerment, first degree. And then you see his top charge being attempted murder. And I don't know what happened. I know it's all alleged defamation, but if I had to take an educated guess of what happened, Obviously, RPT and Structure aren't beefing, and obviously, they wouldn't backdoor something, especially Bando's not dumb enough to do that while he's already fighting a whole indictment with his block. He had too much good going on in his life to try to backdoor somebody. I don't think that was the intention. And again, it says attempted murder. I don't think he tried to shoot Rilla Structure because if he killed Rilla Structure, they would have killed him with a murder charge. That would be his top charge. But it's attempted murder. I think it could have been a situation where him and Rilla was at the studio. Maybe more people were there. Bando was trying to protect him and Rilla at that time. And someone was shooting at him and maybe he shot back. But hey, what do I know? I'm just trying to give y'all some food for thought. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. It's a lot of educated guesses. It's all alleged information at the end of the day. But I tried to explain it in the least confusing way possible with the amount of details I had given. Rest in peace, Rilla. Free band, oh man. It just seems like the luck of the YGs and the Drillies just doesn't stop, man. More bad luck and more charges on top of charges. But I'm going to get up through. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. I'm going to get up through. Y'all keep doing y'all. Keep doing me. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Gr